Shervini Rivas is the Director of Strategic Initiatives for the global nonprofit organization, Water.org. In 2000, Ms. Rivas simultaneously earned an associate degree in business administration and her high school diploma as a dual enrollment student. A member of Mount Wachusett Community College Honors Program, she went on to graduate summa cum laude from Emerson College with a bachelor's degree in communications and marketing. At water.org, Ms. Rivas leads global advocacy efforts and the organization's new venture initiative. Founded by actor Matt Damon and CEO Gary White, Water.org has transformed thousands of communities in Africa, South Asia, and Central America by providing access to safe water and sanitation. Last year, Chevrony scaled Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania with fellow advocates, educators, musicians, and celebrities during Grammy-nominated musician Kenya's Summit on the Summit to raise awareness of the global water crisis. Prior to joining Water.org in 2010, Chevrony spent a decade advancing the missions of leading foundations, government agencies, Fortune 500 corporations, and nonprofit organizations. Her public and private sector experience includes working with Acon International Center for Finan Financial Inclusion, the Center for D Disease Control and Prevention, the Global Health Council, Management Sciences for Health, Pfizer Incorporated, Starbucks Coffee Company, and State Street Bank and Unitas. It is with pleasure that I introduce Chevrony Rivas, class of 2000, and present her with a citation that outlines her many achievements and to ask her to say a few words. I'm not going to read this because I've read a list of her tremendous accomplishments. Chevrony? Wow, guys, this is so exciting to be here. I haven't been here in 14 years. <laughs> it's really been 14 years since I was bombing up Route 2 to get to my class on time, um, which I know everyone here has done at one point or another. Um, and I just want to say that I'm really honored. Um, thank you so much to everyone who made the decision in, in choosing me as alumni of the year. I'm so touched to be here. I'm mostly just beaming with pride and excitement for all of you and just so touched to be able to be part of this experience to, for, with all of you. It's been, as I said, since 2000, and I was thinking about it as the drive up here, how many memories I have from being here. It was such a pivotal time in my life, as I'm sure it's been for all of you here. It's been a long journey for me. We just, in hearing my own bio, I'm thinking to myself, I sound old, actually. I'm starting to feel, it's like the first time I've ever actually felt kind of old, but it's been, it's been a journey. And um, I'm at water.org now, which is a small organization, actually. It, it yes, founded um, by actor Matt Damon, but we are actually a very small organization compared to many other organizations in terms of size, but we have an enormous mission and vision, and that is, seeing the day when everyone in the world can access safe drinking water and the dignity of a toilet. It sounds so basic, and yet, thank you. Thank you, it, it's really, it's, it, it does sound so basic, and yet I think many of you guys know here that it is unfortunately not the reality for so many people around the world. Every 21 seconds, every 21 seconds, a child under five will die from a preventable waterborne illness, and it doesn't have to be that way. We're not waiting for a cure. We're not waiting for a scientific breakthrough. We know the cure. It's engineering. We've known how to deliver safe water and ad adequate sanitation for hundreds of years, and we all take for granted sometimes, we can easily walk to a kitchen sink, to a bathroom, and we can drink clean water. And every day, 750 million people, that's twice the size of the United States population, have to make a devastating choice of whether to go thirsty or to give their child water that they know is gonna make them sick and they may even die from. 
Every day, 2.5 billion people, so that's three times as many people who don't have access to water, have to wait until darkness to go to the bathroom because of embarrassment and shame, and in particular for women and girls. It doesn't get any easier for girls and women. It doesn't matter where you live, it's still embarrassing. So the good news is there are solutions. And that is what gets me really excited every day to go to work. I, it's really heavy stuff, <laughs> what I just talked through, but I actually am so grateful to be a part of that and to every day go to work with an organization and a team that we're working towards a transformative difference in someone's life. Water is everything. It's the basis for everything. Okay, maybe next to air, which, you know, we're working on that next, but water first, right? So it, it, has, been, it has been a series of choices to get to this point, and I'm very lucky to be here. I've been at water.org for four and a half years, but it took me six jobs. I lost one. Um, five countries, no, five continents, 18 countries, two consulting gigs to get to where I am now. So it wasn't like I had a clear shot when I was sitting here right now where you guys are. I didn't have this all mapped out. For me, it's been a process of elimination, frankly. I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I'll be honest with you, I still don't. And that's totally okay. What I remember most about being here at the Mount was learning about myself and what I had in terms of character and in terms of conviction. I got up every day and came to school because I wanted to. No one was forcing me to do it. I worked my butt off, as I'm sure all of you guys have worked your, butt off, your butts off. You've been working, you've had families, and everybody has showed up. And that taught me more about knowing that I can do whatever I need to do and I will overcome whatever I need to overcome to get where I feel like I want to be. And where I want to be, frankly, is somewhere where I'm inspired every day and where I'm inspired by others and I feel like I can make a difference in the world. So it all started really for me at, at the Mount in terms of really learning that I could use that, that I had the character and the conviction to go and conquer the world and how I wanted to. And so whatever step this is for you, whether you're going to another school from here, whether this was your stepping stone in your job, you know, whether you know, this is just something you personally wanted or needed to accomplish, I'm really, really proud of all of you and everyone has it in them, which is the most exciting part about this whole day. So be really proud of yourself. I hope everyone is celebrating and I want everyone to look at the next person next to them and just congratulate them. High five. You guys did it and it's awesome. So congratulations, guys.